Hello, welcome to the Modern Glam Home Podcast. This is the podcast where we delve deep into the world of interior design, helping you to transform your living spaces into works of art. Now, I'm your host, my name is Candy, and you, some of you may know me from my DIY channel, which is DIY Design by CCW. Now, today we have a captivating episode for you because we'll be discussing how to decorate a modern glam interior in the timeless and stunning combination of black and white. All right, now let's first start with the basics. What exactly is the modern glam aesthetic and why is it such a timeless choice for interior design? So, modern glam is a design style that seamlessly blends modern and glamorous elements. It's really all about creating spaces that are luxurious, elegant, and sophisticated. The key to achieving this glam lies in the details. Now, some of those details include clean lines. You're going to see luxurious materials as well, such as marble, brass, gold, crystal, and velvet. You're going to see more of a neutral color palette with muted tones such as whites, creams, grays, and blacks. Of course, you're going to see glamorous accent, accents. rather. Now, these can include things like chandeliers, mirrored surfaces, gilded furniture, and plush upholstery. You're also going to want to see or include texture and patterns. Now for the texture that may come in the form of faux fur, uh, shag rugs, uh, maybe some textured wall coverings such as a textured accent wall to add some depth and depth rather and some interest to the space. Additionally you may see uh, some bold patterns that will be sparingly used as accents such as damask or even chevron. Now, believe it or not, minimalism is a huge part of modern glam. You know, that means the space should not be overly cluttered, and there should be a sense of openness as well as simplicity mixed with that stunning and chic glamour. Balance and symmetry is also extremely important. So that means the furniture and the decor should be arranged in a really balanced and harmonious way that creates a sense of order and elegance in the space. Now the art and accessories for this design style should be chosen carefully, uh, really curated to add uh, to enhance the overall and glamorous feel of the space. Now, you're also going to want to focus on functional design because it's really important that the space remains practical for everyday living. Summing it up, modern glam is a versatile style that can be adapted to different spaces and preferences, whether you prefer a more understated look or you like that more bold and extravagant uh, tone. And it's really all about creating a sense of luxury and elegance while re maintaining a contemporary yet functional living environment. All right, so now let's talk about black and white. Why is such a classic color combination that never goes out of style? First of all, it's clean and sophisticated, and it really adds a touch of drama to any space. So whether you're starting from scratch or you're looking to give your home a makeover, we're hoping today to give you, or I'm hoping today, to give you some tips and ideas to help you create the ultimate modern glam black and white sanctuary. So now let's talk about the power of black and white and how we can pull them together to create a beautiful modern glam home. First of all, black and white may seem really simple, right? I mean, they're in, but they are incredibly uh, versatile. But how can you actually combine these two colors and use them effectively to create a modern glam interior? 
Now, and also black and white is, that's really the ultimate uh, contrasting duo because black adds the depth in the drama while white brings the light and the airiness. So in modern glam design, we often see bold black accents against a predominantly white backdrop. Now then, you know, think about black furniture and maybe even a black accent wall or some black statement pieces against a beautiful white canvas. So when you're designing that modern glam home in black and white, the first thing you have to do is begin is to begin with a neutral base. Now, one great option would be to opt for crisp white walls. So this is going to provide a clean canvas for your design, and the white walls are also going to create an open and airy feeling, setting the stage for black and white to, for your black and white decor to shine. Now, I will tell you this is the perfect look if you have a smaller space let's just say you're decorating your living room and it's not big right it's not or whatever space you're decorating starting with a beautiful white uh, wall coloring is really going to open that space up and again give you the perfect pal the uh, perfect backdrop or palette to add in those pops of black and whatever other color you choose to add to the duo now again, I love an accent wall, so think about white walls, and if you have the ability to do it, either in your dining area or in your living room, if you have a wall that you can accent in a beautiful black, uh, you know, make into rather a beautiful black accent wall, wow, I think that sounds absolutely gorgeous, and it's going to give you a beautiful backdrop for your sofa or for your statement pieces to really accent them well and it's also going to show up that artwork that we're going to talk about a little bit later all right so now that we have our our backdrop we have our walls in beautiful white we maybe have our accent wall in place uh, maybe a black accent wall is what we, we talked about in the previous segment. Now you want to go ahead and add a couple of additional uh, pops of black to really start to pull this look together. Now one thing that I love is a black sofa, maybe a black leather sofa, um, or you know if you don't want a black sofa and maybe you're placing the sofa against that accent wall, maybe try a white leather or a white sofa, um, and then bring in or pull in black lacquered coffee tables. Now, um, really that's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful uh, and a striking focal point. Now, if you're going with that black accent wall and maybe the white sofa, then you bring in those black coffee tables, maybe, uh, or you know, you could also go with a, a glass coffee coffee table, especially if you're gonna accent your black and white with gold. You could do, you know, maybe gold uh, uh, mirrored coffee tables, or if you're gonna use silver, you can use silver, or think about a mirrored coffee table. All of those would be beautiful and, and really give you a nice place to add in the additional elements. Now, if you're going with the black accent wall and you have that white sofa, then perhaps you want to pull in some geometric uh, uh, pillows in some, some sort of black and white. That would be absolutely beautiful. Again, we mentioned some patterns like chevron. That would be a beautiful pattern. But um, you really want something that's going to pop and stand out. Now, if you're going with that black accent wall, I would add art that is framed maybe in a black or uh, a gold or a silver frame. But you want it to be matted in white and then maybe with a black print you know these are really 
items that you can DIY pretty easy. Um, you can make the posters yourself, go and print them out, design them rather, especially if you use a software like maybe Adobe Express or some other, maybe Canva or some other so software like that. You can design your posters yourself, take them, print them out, frame them yourself, and there you go. Inexpensive way to really accent uh, your sofa, your accent wall, and pull that black and white element together. Now, I really love ginger jars, so I have seen some stunning ginger jars in black. I've seen some stunning ginger jars in white. Um, it just really depends on which elements you choose. Now, also, when you're doing this, you also have to consider your floors. So, if your flooring is... Uh, you know, if you're going to, if you have wood floors, I would tell you that a beautiful uh, tone like um, a walnut or some other tone to the floor that uh, a beautiful wood floor gives you a really nice backdrop, backdrop rather, for this style. So, you know, that's something to consider. Then you can add a beautiful throw rug that pulls all the elements together. But again, when you're thinking about the walls, when you think about your accent wall, think about the flooring too. Does it tie in to what you're trying to pull together? And if you have it in the budget to replace the flooring, go with a beautiful wood grain flooring. Um, I, I think it really helps to, um, you know, break up the black and white just a little bit but it also adds that designer element to your home and it's really gonna like make your space look uh, very chic and pulled together. All right, so now uh, let's just talk about a few general tips to help pull this black and white look together. First of all, you wanna mix in your textures and your patterns because to avoid a really sterile look, and again, if you're not careful, black and white can become too sterile. You want to pull in some uh, textures and patterns. So again, think about thick, plush, white, faux fur rugs, maybe a black and white, uh, black and white geometric pillows, as, as I mentioned. Now, when it comes to the draperies, think about silk curtains. You know, the interplay of these textures and the patterns are really going to add uh, depth and visual interest to your space. Now, you also want to incorporate some metallics, you know, because this is all about luxury, right? We're talking about a modern glam home. So make sure that you incorporate some metallic accents, like I mentioned, maybe gold or silver or brass to really elevate the design. Now, Consider, we talk about this in every episode, so forgive me for repeating it, but they're just essential for the modern glam interior. You want to incorporate uh, con or consider incorporating a stunning chandelier, also some metallic framed mirrors or metallic uh, finished accessories to bring that extra layer of opulence to your black and white haven. Now, if you have if you have a room where you don't have overhead lighting and you don't have the ability to do it you can consider bringing in the chandelier look with lamps that have that look i've seen some beautiful lamps um, very inexpensive ones too at some stores such as home depot that have shades that kind of pull in that chandelier look. So you can do that in different ways if you're not able to add uh, the over the overhead lighting. So, you know, again, you basically want to focus on um, anything that's going to add the glamour, but you also don't want to overdo it, right? You want to cure, carefully curate those pieces Make sure that it, they don't overwhelm your space and that uh, they help you pull in not just the black and white aesthetic, but that it really ties your black and white aesthetic or theme 
in with that modern glam look that you're hoping to achieve. Now, a few other tips. Uh, you want to choose statement artwork. So one of the most impactful ways to infuse personality into your black and white uh, space or your black and white uh, decor is through your artwork. So again, look for statement pieces that pop against your neutral backdrop. Again, large black framed uh, art artwork, uh, maybe something with a white matting would be a great uh, piece to pull in and will add a great focal point to your room and help tie everything together for you. Also, now, don't forget, part of modern glam is embracing minimalism. So keep your space clutter-free clutter, clutter free, uh, and to a minimum. So that go for instead sleek, streamlined furniture with those clean lines. Now, you uh, also try to find, if you can, storage pieces even a mirrored, beautiful mirrored storage piece that will help you discreetly uh, hide away some of your decor so that you don't keep everything on display. You know, something when you have that monochromatic color scheme, uh, it really is, this black and white monochromatic color scheme, rather, it really is uh, important to maintain that clean and elegant aesthetic. Now, also, don't forget to add a little bit of greenery. Don't forget to add a touch of nature into your black and white sanctuary. Greenery can provide a refreshing contrast to that monochrome palette. Uh, you know, maybe place a potted plant or some fresh flowers strategically around the space uh, to kind of soften the look and then also to infuse life into the design. Also, don't forget to personalize your space. Remember, this is your home, so it should reflect your personality and your style. While black and white is the foundation, feel free to incorporate some personal touches, whether it's family photos and black frames or unique decor items that really speak to your individual taste. So now let's kind of sum everything up so that we can pull these beautiful black and white spaces together. Number one, choose your dominant color. Now, if you want uh, black and white to be the dominant colors in your room, you want to make sure that you over don't overdo one or the other. Also, you have to remember your space, right? If your space is small, I would pull in more of the white to kind of make the space look a little bit larger and then maybe add black in the terms of maybe an accent wall. Uh, also, you know, maybe um, uh, your furniture could be black with the white accents. But again, you really have to think that through. And of course, it's all about your personal taste and your personal style. But um, you want, may want to go monochromatic and go white on white on white with just pops of black. But it's, it's really up to you. But play around with it. See what works for you. And then in the end, you're going to have a space that you enjoy. Now, the flooring, again, I mentioned uh, dark heart, hardwood flooring is absolutely beautiful uh, with this color aesthetic. But some of you may also choose to go with black and white uh, marble tiles. You know, you could also think about a plush white or black rug that can also be added for texture and for comfort. Now, if you're upgrading your furniture, you want to opt for sleek and stylish black or white leather or maybe velvet or some sort of tufted design, something maybe with a metallic accent that's gonna, you know, also pull in the glam factor. Now your accent chairs, I do wanna tell you that the one thing I've learned about a design, about designing rather, and, uh, you know, and pulling a, a look together is to not go with a matchy, matchy set. In other words, go find your sofa, 
then go and find accent chairs that match but not exactly so it you want your look to be pulled together you want your look to be harmonious but in order to give it that texture in that depth try to find pieces that go together but don't match or come with the you know or don't come from the same set so with that said if you have the space incorporate a pair of statement chairs maybe in a contrasting color for instance if your sofa is black then add white chairs and vice versa now we talked about the coffee table Choose a glass or a mirrored coffee table to add a touch of glam, or you can consider black or white lacquered uh, tables, maybe with uh, metallic accents. Now, when it comes to your accessories and decor, again, you want to go with your mirrors, right? This is all about modern glam. So you can hang large ornate mirrors with black or maybe white frames or even a metallic frame. Um, You know, the mirrors are not only going to add the glamour, but they also help to reflect light, and that's going to make your space feel even larger. Now, with the artwork, incorporate uh, black and white artwork or photography in in elegant frames that match your color scheme. And again, this is something you can definitely DIY. Pillows and throws. You want to use those pillows and throws uh, in black and or white with textures like maybe a faux fur or something with sequins for added uh, for that added glamour. And, um, you know, you can really get creative here. Even try maybe something with a geometric pattern. Certainly would work. Curtains. You want to go with floor length curtains in one of the dominant colors. Uh, play off of materials such as velvet or satin that's really going to enhance the luxurious feel of the space now when it comes to the lighting again we talked about chandeliers if you can install a stunning crystal chandelier or maybe some sort of pendant lights in the center of the room but if you can't do that and even if you can consider adding wall sconces or table lamps uh, in a matching theme so that way you can layer the lighting in the room and that's just going to give you a beautiful overall aesthetic now again accent colors of course white and black uh, those are our main colors but you can introduce small splashes of metallics like gold uh, and or silver Also, you can even add in another color if you want, you know, Uh, like maybe um, a yellow or uh, an orange or a red or something like that, if that's something that you want to do. But of course, you want to keep that third color to a minimum so that it doesn't overwhelm your overall black and white aesthetic. When you're arranging your furniture, you want to do that in a balanced, in a symmetrical layout that's going to create a a harmonious and elegant feel. Just ensure that there's enough space for movement and that everything flows together. And remember, negative space is okay. You do not have to fill every nook and cranny with something. Sometimes nothing is even more powerful than placing something in a space. Remember the greenery. Add some green plants or flowers to bring life uh, and contrast to the black and white palette. A pop of green can also soften that overall look and it won't make it be too sterile. Incorporate those personal touches such as, uh, you know, maybe your photographs or something that, you know, really something that will really reflect your style, your personality, maybe unique decor pieces or family heirlooms. Remember, this is your space. Make it your own. Of course, it goes without saying that any living room, any home, 
any space tends to look its best when it's tidy. So try to keep everything well organized and clutter, clutter free. Invest in stylish, stylish rather, storage solutions that can help you keep your space tidy. Um, I love things like storage benches. Maybe you can shop for a beautiful storage uh, piece or furniture, or if you have a TV in the space, make the uh, you know the the TV console one that is beautiful and elegant, but also one that gives you some extra storage where you can hide some things away. Also, again, just remember that the key to a successful glam black and white living room is really just all about balance and attention to detail. By combining sleek and luxurious elements with the right elements, you can create a stunning and sophisticated space that exudes glamour and style. All right, now there you have it. That wraps up today's episode on how to decorate a modern glam home in black and white. Just remember again that it's all about balance, texture, and that touch of luxury. So with some careful planning and budgeting and attention to detail, you can create a stunning and timeless living space that exudes modern glamour and suits you to a T. So again, thank you so much for tuning in to the Modern Glam Home uh, podcast. And if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to uh, like the video. Also, make sure that you subscribed if you haven't already. Make sure that you tap that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new episode. And again, um, I I look forward to doing these every week, and I certainly hope uh, that I'll be talking to you again very soon. So again, make sure you visit my other channels. I've left links to those channels in my description box. And don't forget to visit modernglamhome.com. All right, like I say at the end of every episode, I can't wait to talk to you again in another episode of the Modern Glam Home Podcast. Have a wonderful day or night. Bye-bye.